Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is what controls the outdoor fan motor on a heat pump. So if you've ever seen that turn on and shut off, all right, and you're wondering why that is happening, or if there is a problem, you're going to need to know the two reasons why it's turning on and off and what's controlling it. One of the two is this uh, fan relay that's mounted on the defrost control board. That's one of the items. The other one is a high-pressure vapor switch. All right, that is down low, and we'll discuss that in a little bit. All right, so you have on this block right here on the defrost control board, you have this wire, which is OF2, going to the outdoor fan motor. All right, you have the power starting up here, coming off of one of the two 120 volt legs. It comes through this wire, goes through the, the high pressure limit switch, and that comes in through here. That limit switch is normally closed all right it opens when the pressure gets too high so if it's normally closed and it comes into the fan relay here then the defrost control board can control when it turns on all right so it's going to turn on anytime the outdoor heat pump is calling for power uh, anytime that the compressor turns on it will turn the outdoor fan motor off during defrost there's several things that are needed for defrost to occur and that is that this DFT temp sensor will close meaning that the outdoor fins are below 30 degrees so once that's closed and if you've already met the time requirement set by these dip switches down here which could be 30 60 90 or 120 minutes then this board will power the reversing valve for cooling mode shut the outdoor fan motor off and it's going to send power through this uh, W wire, 24 volts to the indoor uh, air handler in order to turn emergency heat on. That's what happens during defrost. All right, it's going to do that until this DFT right here ends up opening, meaning that the outdoor fins have reached above, say, 80 degrees. Uh, when that happens, that, that board is basically thinking that the outdoor fins are fully um, defrosted. It's melted all of the ice off. At that point there, then the defrost control board will go ahead and turn back on the fan after it reverses the reversing valve back into heat mode. All right. So, so this defrost control board is one of the items that controls the the fan motor turning on. The other the other item is the pressure switch. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that now. All right. So right here we have the high pressure limit switch right here. Okay. It's coming up right off of this vapor line. This right here, this entire assembly right here, this is the four-way valve or reversing valve. All right? It has four ports, three of which are down here, and one is up high, which I'll show you in a sec. This one is always true suction right here in the middle, and then it just matters which way the slide is in the reversing valve, whether this is the discharge gas, all right? or this one is the discharge gas. All right, so in heating mode, this one right here is the high pressure discharge gas. And if it gets too high, this normally closed switch right here will go ahead and open, and then you won't have any power on the outdoor fan motor, which means you will not be able to absorb any more heat until that turns back on. Basically, you're not pulling air across the coil in order for the refrigerant to absorb heat. This one right here, would be low pressure vapor in cooling mode. All right, so this side right here during heat mode right here, this one would be your suction line, your low pressure vapor. Now let's take a look up top. This one right here is always true discharge, this pipe right here. That's true discharge. So anyway, I just wanted to show where this uh, high pressure limit switch was located at. Uh, just so so you know, not all heat pumps have them, uh, but they they kind of should. This is a safety device so that your compressor doesn't have to shut off due to high pressure, either the pressure relief going off or if you have a, another high pressure limit switch, uh, the high pressure limit switch, if you have the additional one, then what will happen is that will shut the compressor off. All right, and then you're going to need to wait five minutes for it to turn back on again. What this does is it just turns off the fan motor. All right, so you're still able to provide heat in the, in the dead of winter, 
all right, without shutting the compressor off. So this just turns the outdoor fan motor off, all right, and it's also protecting um, the system from high head pressure, uh, from not being able to reject heat in the inside of the building. All right, so we're going to take a look at that now. All right, so now what we're looking at is this this gauge right here is on the large vapor line, which in cooling mode would be the low pressure vapor. And, and in this case, it's in heat mode. It is high pressure, uh, high temperature discharge gas going to the indoor unit. But we have this hooked to the port on the outdoor unit. This right here is true suction. All right, so on heat pumps, it's typically found by itself, not connected to a service valve, but just a a straighter valve port most of the time. All right, but this is true suction. What we're going to do here is we're looking. The outdoor fan is running right now, and the pressure is going up. All right, and then we're going to see that the outdoor fan is going to stop, and then the discharge pressure is going to go down. So presently, we're at about 420 PSIG. So you just seen that the outdoor fan has stopped. And now you see the pressure is going down. All right, there's mainly two big reasons for this. And one is if this, if this outdoor heat pump is turned on when it's too warm out. That means that this side of the heat pump is running too efficiently. All right, so it's able to get way too much heat. It's able to absorb a lot of heat in the refrigerant. And then at the indoor coil, it's trying to reject that heat into the air inside the building. But the air inside the building, say, is already, say, 70 degrees, and you're trying to reject heat a massive amount into 70-degree air. And so that's why this, is, this pressure switch is needed. All right, so we just saw... At about 325 PSIG, the outdoor fan is now allowed to turn back on again. So that that pressure switch is allowing the fan to shut off at 420 and turn on back on at about 325. So that's the range that this needs to operate in as a safeguard so that the, so that the pressure does not just continue, continue to rise until the pressure relief inside the compressor ends up popping. Because right, that will just eventually do damage to that high pressure relief valve that's located inside uh, the compressor. And it's not venting refrigerant out of the compressor. It's just venting uh, the discharge gas back into the vapor area inside the compressor. But if the more that that pops, basically, uh, the weaker it's going to get. So if for whatever reason the outdoor unit is absorbing too much heat compared to the indoor unit, not being able to uh, reject enough heat, then that pressure switch is going to stop the outdoor fan motor from absorbing heat in the outside air. So there's two reasons for this happening. One, you're running your heat pump in in too hot of weather, okay? Because this the heat pump's used to running in say 40 degree weather, 50 degree weather, all the way down to say 20 degree weather, right around in there. Um, that's when your heat pump is normally running. Okay. The other thing is, what if your blower motor on the indoor air handler goes bad? Uh, what if it stops working? What if the capacitor goes bad? What if the filter gets clogged? What if the, the underside of your A coil or N coil gets covered in dust? What if the ductwork is undersized? All, right. All of those things. What if the homeowner shut half the registers down and you can't reject the heat that, that this unit is absorbing out here? You can't reject that heat to the inside air. So... If you didn't have that uh, that high pressure switch in there, the pressure is just going to continue to go high, and the compressor um, pressure relief valve is just going to keep blowing and do damage basically to the system uh, due to the fact that, that that pressure relief is finally going to uh, get so weak it's not going to be able to hold any discharge gas. All right, but also that any time that that pressure goes high, real high like that, it's really, really hard for that compressor to run. You're, you're, it's, you're costing money uh, to run the system, and you're, you're putting wear, wear and tear on that compressor. But anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, what is controlling the outdoor fan motor on a heat pump, just so, so you're aware of what's going on. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.